All right, so last, uh, on Monday rather, we started out working from open guard passing, basic just uh, distance control, grip breaks, right? Breaking the collar, grip, breaking the sleeve, grips, cross grips, etc. cetera. Uh, controlling the feet. One thing I want to emphasize that I don't think, when I watched the video back, I don't think I quite emphasized this clearly. Um, what I find is the most effective thing about controlling the feet there, so say you square up with me over here, is if I control the feet, um, and let me actually scoot you back just a little. Yeah. Alright, so I'm controlling the feet. Uh, close the distance, like get close to it. Like I can kind of keep them away from me. I can kind of keep my opponent away from getting to a meaningful distance. Because remember that if he is here in this sort of open guard, uh, long range butterfly guard situation, the number one thing I have to concern myself with is him getting his feet underneath of my thighs, getting probably an over under control, and uh, basically getting his butt in the, on the mat while his feet go to the sky, right? So if you say shoot in with your feet, right, uh, both feet on the inside, right? Get an over under, just like a pump, like an over under hook, right? Now on the side that you have this over hook, I want you to keep your knees and elbows tight, but fall to your right shoulder and then kick this to the sky, right? And that's kind of the major, yeah, the major thing I have to address essentially in these sort of open guard scenarios is they're going to come in close distance, elevate me to the ceiling, and flip me over. So I want to kind of keep distance. I either want to keep distance to where uh, they can't get close enough to do that. Or I want to smash him to the floor like we did. So uh, let's say you scoot in. Boom. Now, if he tries to do that, try to uplift me up, it's not going to happen. His only way to start making movement happen, well, I shouldn't say the only way, but the most effective way you can make movement happen is by pushing me away, which of course leads to our lead frog pass. But, or shut pass. We're going to encounter a situation where either our opponent initiated the butterfly guard and they're kind of already sitting up, or maybe I didn't maintain the proper control for this position and uh, I have to switch gears. So what we're going to basically do is we're going to have to smash through this guard, or one of our best options is smashing through. So we turn this way. So whether I started from the same situation where I throw in, pin my opponent down, sorry, can you up again? Throw in, pin my opponent down, maybe they're sitting up, whatever, right? But I ended up in this kind of scenario where I no longer, like, I can, I maybe can do a leapfrog pass. You guys should probably work on getting our head over here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're, we might find ourselves in a situation if he's really actively with this, this elevator hook, you know, let's say you're lifting your right foot to the ceiling, right? I might have my base compromised in such a way that instead of feeling like I can back step, I feel like I'm going to lose the battle. So, what we're going to do is find a different way to pin our opponent to the floor. Uh, so, I have this double underhook sort of situation. What I'm going to work to do is I'm going to step the foot up on the side that I have the underhook while I shift laterally towards the side that I don't, right? So what's going to happen is I reach up, I can grab the collar. I don't have to necessarily do this yet, but I eventually will want this, but I'm going to shift laterally and step this foot up. Okay. Mm -hmm. As I do that, I want to pin this leg to the floor, and we'll talk about or control this leg either by stapling it to the floor with a pants grip on the knee or a forearm grip on the inside of the thigh. I'll address that in a second, but I just want to demonstrate the mo uh, motions that are happening. So we're here, he's here. I don't feel like I can pass during my normal through my normal path, so I'm shifting laterally, pinning that to the floor, and I'm working for this collar grip. Okay. What I'm basically trying to do here is smash his butterfly in such a way that if you try to, try to move me around, it's going to be very hard for him to really elevate me up off of the mat. Right. Now, first thing we have to address with this, why do I control this inside leg? Because that's the leg that in that situation is going to be vulnerable for triangles. And that's the one thing you have to worry about when you try to basically when you're talking about smashing through someone's guard, you know, like pressure passing, your primary thing you have to concern yourself with is getting triangles. So meaning that say we're here, and even if you're flattened out, let's say I flatten you out, so I did everything right, but I just don't feel like I can hop over. Your feet are too sticky, so I can't elevate over. So I do the same thing. I shift laterally, but I don't control this leg right. That knee is going to pummel over, go over my neck. He starts fighting for this other leg to come out. Now I'm fighting the triangle. So I do not want that to happen. I do not want to get caught in triangle. So 
Here, let's say I just have your button now for now, save simplicity. So once I'm here, as I shift laterally, I want to immediately control that leg. So I can either control here well with the hip, or I can aim up here and control the collar um, high. Like I said, I can pin the knee to the floor like a stiff arm, so if you try moving around, you're going to kind of just move yourself out of position. Right. Or, uh, like I said, I like this forearm blade sometimes too. Okay. My goal when I pass in this manner is to just sort of gradually work my way up towards your head. What I'm aiming for, and I'll show this from a different angle. Um, actually, let's rotate this this way. Perfect. So my goal is going to be to put the top of my head in the bottom of your chest. So I'm here. I could do that. Boom. Uh, let's say you start sitting up this time. I shift, and I catch here. And I'm controlling this leg, OK? I'm going to be gradually climbing up to put your back on the floor. I can either do that by just driving into you, or basically when my head can find your chin without overexposing myself, I can pin you to the floor that way. There's two other things that are going to basically be at work here. I want to clear this hook. The way I'm going to clear this hook, so guys, uh, see the, on the side that my foot is stepped up? The way that I'm going to clear that hook is by doing a nice mule kick straight behind me. So I'm here, I'm pinning your leg to the floor, a mule kick. And I take that here. If you're absent minded, I can windshield wiper that foot. I'll show that motion on the camera in a second. But I windshield wiper that foot over top of his shin. And now, pretty much, I'm going to get this pass. From here, I'm going to grab the collar and I'm going to put my head under his chin and work here. Uh, Jim, move me around. It's going to be very hard to shake me once I have my head in that position. Back that position. Let me show that windshield wiper motion. So if I have, uh, let's get back that way. Please. If I have Jim pinned to the mat, right? Imagine I'm just showing this so you guys can sort of see what I'm doing. Obviously, I have my weight here, right? I mule kick this leg back. It comes in. If he doesn't try to grab a half guard, right? I windshield wiper my shin over top of his shin. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but. And that's basically going to facilitate. Once I get that, I can pass pretty much however I want. So, let's go through that again. So the butterfly guard. Can you move that? So you start sitting up, right? And I feel like, okay, I can't quite do the same thing I did on Monday. So, I'm working for a collar, whatever. Step this foot up, pin this leg down here, right? Or stay low on the hip. Kind of depend on where you feel strong. From here, I want to drive. You get him kind of down. I'm going to mule kick back. Windshield wiper over that leg. This knee can start coming over top of here, too. From here, my head's going to find the top of his head. Or the bottom of his chin, rather. He'll probably lock a half guard if he's smart. And that's okay. This is pretty much suck for him. Jim, does this suck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you just pretty much rotate and pass. I'm not going to go too deep into the half guard passing dynamics, but a lot of times that's where you end up. Let's do that. I'll show that one more time. From let's do the angle where they'll see our butterfly guard. Start sitting up. So changing, stepping up. Or I feel like they kind of move laterally for that. Right? You want to really shut down the hips. So it's like you might be able to move his upper body a bit, but you should not be able to move his hips too much. Right anywhere. Yeah. From here. Taking that, and so I go over top, head to the mat, pass it Any questions? I didn't get a really chance to see it, but we'll, I'll, I'll talk to you. So, all right, cool. We'll get to it. One, two, three.